So today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on doing a twist, not exactly mini twist, but medium twist that you can wear throughout the week. And um, I know a lot of us naturals have problems with having to uh, deal with our hair after we like did a twist down and we have to like retwist it at night and all of that stuff and we just want to break. Protective styles are the best, especially since it's extremely cold outside if you live somewhere where um, winter is like extreme, where I live in Pennsylvania, it's pretty bad. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you do live in an area where it's, uh, the winters are pretty uh, extreme and cold, like Pennsylvania, it's really good to do kind of like a prep for your hair before you go in and you uh, start doing your medium size twist or mini twist, whatever you decide to do. What I do after I wash my hair or co-wash, whatever it is, I prep my hair with uh, just water. Make sure I spritz my hair with, with my water, and then afterwards I put conditioner. I'm using Tresemme's Naturals, so I just put a little bit of the conditioner in like a dime size amount in my palm, and then just kind of rub it and put it on that section. And then I go ahead and I take uh, olive oil, and again like a dime size amount, and rub it in my hands and put it in that section. And then I just go ahead and just do that with all, like each of my sections. I have one two, three, four, five sections in my hair right now. So all five sections, I would do that and then just kind of clip it away until I'm ready to go ahead and actually twist. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you one section. So I'm gonna take down this section. My hair is pretty moist. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to spray it. I should just spray it a little bit. But yeah, so this is what my hair looks like. I did a deep treatment, uh, kind of like a deep conditioning treatment yesterday. So it's super, super, super soft. Um, let me know if you want to know the ingredients that I use. But um, my hair is extremely soft and I'll go ahead and start off. Oh, I am not big on parts, really clean parts. It doesn't really matter to me. I usually put on like one of those thick headbands right here. So all of this is covered. And when my hair is in like medium sized twist, I always put them up in like a little bun and just rock it like that. I'm not big on parts. If you're big on parts, definitely make, you know, your parts clean. But uh, for me, it's not, it's not necessary. I'm like, it's fine. So let me go ahead and separate so this is like my first section i can see this part is ridiculous but i'll fix that <laughs> eventually uh go right here and when you do this when you're parting your hair be extremely gentle and be patient don't like tear through that's another big reason why i'm not too big on parts I feel like it puts a lot of tension on my hair, so I'd rather just kind of uh, eyeball it and just work through it, separate it, let it naturally separate, as opposed to me forcing it to <laughs> separate with my comb. So once you're done, just kind of tuck that away so it's not in your way. Uh, my hair is pretty moist, but I think I'm going to spritz it again just to give it a little more moisture. Shake it up. Spray a little, focus a little bit on my ends, make sure my ends are nice and moisturized. Can move in a little bit so you guys see how the water kind of penetrates the hair a little bit. Again, focus on your ends. I just recently did a trim, so my ends are pretty pretty good <laughs> all right so once you work that water in there just take a dime size amount just like that amount of the curly enhancing smoothie or whatever you decide your leave-in is and just kind of rub it a little bit if it's the curly enhancing smoothie make sure you rub it it makes it uh, penetrate the hair easier than if you just kind of slap it on there <laughs> and then just work it through 
Make sure to focus on your ends. Work it through, work it through. Now, with detangling, start at the end. I'm going to go with my wide tooth comb first. Start at the end like this. Then you kind of, wherever you feel it. And if you run into a big knot, I suggest you work through it with your fingers as opposed to trying to get the comb to go through it because that just causes too much tension on your hair. Be extremely gentle. So, from the ends, work your way out, then you can start getting that area. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Then, I take my brush just to make sure everything is really greatly detangled. And I just work my way slowly. Also, I keep my hair between my thumb and my index finger and then I just kind of follow the hair down as I detangle and holding the hair really does relieve a lot of stress so that's why I do that and my hair feels pretty detangled so I'm going to go ahead and separate this into two kind of put that part here add it at the clip hold it then just at my ends I'll use the rat tail comb just to do my ends like that now I'll take a little bit of that pudding thing I was telling you about from Shea Moisture I'll put it in the description box it like totally slipped my mind I can't believe I forgot what it's called but it's amazing too it's really it's a it's like a gentle hold, I would say. It's not a gel. It's, um, it's a really good hold. So I just work that through. Then I go ahead and I divide my hair to two. And I start twisting. And when you're twisting, if you really want your twists to uh, be tight, and I learned this <laughs> later on, kind of continue to do that uh the whole going around each other, continue to twist and twist and twist in that area. Your hair will tell you when there's enough twisting and when to work down. Don't try to hurry up the twist and just twist fast straight down. Kind of wait till your hair feels too tight to continue the twist and then work your way down. So once I get down here, I take my right tail comb again and work that end then I try to twist as much as I can uh, all the way down then when I get here kind of twirl it to have it stay in place and boom there you go that's one of my twists <laughs> Hi everyone, so it's the next morning and this are these are my twists. Just literally took off my scarf and this is exactly how they look. So um today I think I'm just gonna put them up in a bun. I'll just do a little close up. Looks so healthy and thick. I love it. Fab. And of course I have shrinkage. Alright, so here's the bun. I just put it up like so, tucked in my ends, and then put pins, bobby pins, to protect the ends. As you can see, no specific parts. I really don't care for parts too much. Um, so now what I do, I just put on this headband because it's freezing outside. Cover my ears here, and boom. Ready to go. <laughs>